Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I want to talk to you about cutting and specifically cutting with an oscillating tool. This is a DeWalt tool. This is model number DCS354TY1. All right, so this is their atomic version, which is a little more compact than the regular version. I actually have two of these. We use them so much. Basically what it does is it vibrates back and forth at variable speeds. So either you can go slow, it's a variable speed trigger. So you can go slow like that, or usually you full blast like me. It's a little loud, especially once you bring it into your workpiece. Uh, it's not the quietest tool in the world, but for what it does, it's very handy. Like I said, I got two of them. I bought an extra one because one guy was always grabbing this and we have a corded one in our trailer, but you know, corded tools are like, ugh. We have a few, but we have a lot of cordless ones now. So this is a, a DeWalt brushless cordless oscillating tool. And it's just designed to cut. The cool thing about this tool is if you're trying to flush cut something, the tool pretty much, except I kind of have a big battery on it, so it hangs down a little bit. But uh, if you're on the floor, you need to cut something flush, or you got to get into a tight spot, it's zero clearance basically, so it's kind of nice. So if something's in your way, you can get it out of the way. If something's in the corner, okay, I have a great example today. I have a corner piece. You cannot get a regular saw into this corner. How would you cut this down if you had to make the cut? You use this. So, but a couple more features about this tool. Uh, it's effortless blade changes. It's a spring-loaded lever right here that you just pull in and then you can disconnect the blade. So the top side of the blade looks like this. And there's multiple different brands. This is a DeWalt blade. It fits on their DeWalt saw. But you can see that it's there's other blades that, they, that are made that are universal. And as long as it has this kind of a cutout, it'll be fine for this particular tool. So I have DeWalt blades and I have some other ones that um, there's different finishes on the blades as well. Some are for wood, some are for metal. This is a bimetal coated blade. There's also carbide tip blades. Those are more expensive, just like in a carbide tip, anything costs more. The other cool thing is you can adjust the angle that you wanna put this on. So if you're trying to get into a funky angle, you don't have to keep it straight. You can put it sideways like this and you can go in from the side if you're in a limited space like that. So uh, these oscillating tools we found, since I've had one, we use it more and more and more, and now it's become one of our go-tos when we're cutting in trim. Like all of these pieces of trim on these doors and all this trim coming down the house, uh, some of it will have to be cut. Either it's cut too low or I'm changing the elevation of the deck and I need to cut it and it's just kind of a pain to get a skill saw up into these corners. So I'm constantly using one of these. Let me show you how it works. This blade is uh, pretty hammered, so it might take a second to get through this. It might smoke a little bit. Brand new blade, cut through real good. But since I don't know, that, I know there's concrete that I might be hitting and some brick, so I don't want to use a brand new blade because I'll dull the heck out of it just for this video. And then I'll be like, oh man. That's 10 bucks. So I have to cut this down later. Like we're gonna not, we're gonna pocket a beam in here. So I'm just gonna cut this piece for you and show you how this works. Almost there. the brick you can see the brick color on there so you can kind of see some of the burn on that so that's because it has a dull blade but it still worked really handy tool can't say enough good things about it comfortable grip there's also a lockout so that if you're carrying these around and you want to lock out your trigger because this is one tool that will go off in your box like if i forget to lock this out and i put it in my stowaway chest and then we throw it in the trailer and we drive to a new new job sometimes this thing will stay like this and it'll just keep doing that until the battery run, runs out so if you lock out your tool then that won't happen or i can do this but you know sometimes we do sometimes we don't just depends on what's up thanks for watching i really appreciate it 
If you like what you saw, don't forget to click that subscribe button and hit the bell icon every time you want to be notified that we're putting out fresh content. And check out some of our prior videos. We have lots of tool reviews. Uh, also share a lot about building decks, how we build things, uh, catch up on some techniques and tricks and tips, five ways to do this and five ways to do that. Thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Have a great day.